OCR scholars. So, children, as we have completed chapter number six, the three houses in our student book. Now it's time to go ahead with the workbook. So today we are going to start worksheet number one, two, and three. So let us begin that. So now. First, we are going to read a poem that is worksheet number one. Read along with me. All around the barnyard, the animals are fast asleep. Slipping cows and horses, slipping goats and sheep means barnyard means. A barnyard is a fenced in an area on a farm, usually next to barn, which sometimes contains goats, chickens, or other farm animals. You can also call a barnyard a farmyard. A barnyard gives farmers a place close to farm buildings. Where animals can be kept safely. So, what happens? All the animals are sleeping in the barnyard. This is a barnyard. Yes. So, which animals are sleeping? Cow. You can see calf, horses, sheep, and goat. So, these all animals. Went for to the sleep very early. Now, moving to the second para of this poem. Here comes the rooster. The sound his daily alarm. Cock a doodle do. Wake up, sleepy farm. So, next day early in the morning, who come first? Rooster. Rooster mean cock. So he is doing his daily alarm by saying "cock a doodle do" to wake up all the animals, those who are sleeping in the barnyard. All right. So I hope you understand this small poem. Now on this basis, on the basis of this, we are going to do a true or false. Of worksheet number one, so let us go ahead. So I hope you are easily give me answer of these questions. So first, the animals are in the forest. Where were the animals? The animals are in the forest or barnyard. They all were in barnyard. So this statement is. False. So we are writing F stands for false in front of this sentence. Now, second one is the cows are sleeping. Yes, all the cows and all the animals went for the sleep very early. They all are sleeping. So this statement is true or false? True. So we are writing T. That stands for true. Third is the goats are not sleeping. Is this statement is true or false? Goats are not sleeping. No, goats are sleeping. So this statement is wrong. So we are writing F. That is for false. Fourth is. The rooster wakes everyone up. Yes, rooster means cock. Cock wakes up every animal, each and every animal. So we are writing T because this statement is right, correct, true. All right. Now, moving to the Second part of this worksheet, that is question number B, find rhyming word for this in the poem. So, you can see here, a sleep alarm. 
So we have to find out the rhyming word of asleep alarm from this to para stanza. So now let us read this poem again. All around the banyard the animals are fast asleep. Sleeping cows and horses, sleeping goats and sheep. So can you find the rhyming word of asleep from this stanza? Yes, asleep sheep. Sheep asleep. Hai na? So the answer is sheep. Now alarm. So we have to find out the rhyming word of alarm from this stanza. Here comes the rooster to sound his daily alarm. Cock a doodle do. Wake up sleepy farm. Alarm farm. Alarm farm. Yes, so I hope you understand the concept of rhyming words and how to find out the rhyming word from the paragraph. Now, the third part of these worksheet is see how many animals are sleeping in the first picture. Count them. So, the picture is given and you have to count the animal. So, let us count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, total how many animals were sleeping? Answer is 8. So, wherever you find the space, you can write the answer over there. Right. Now, moving ahead with another worksheet, worksheet number 2. Look at the pictures and tick the correct word. So, picture is given and you have to just tick the correct word. So, this is the first one. What is this children? Let us read the option first. Farm, forest. Farm or forest? This is a forest. So, we are ticking option B. Then second one is, which bird it is? Penguin or parrot? Penguin. So, we are ticking in front of penguin. Now, see the another one. What is this children? It is Dan or forest? Dan where all the wild animals are lived. Yes, then it is very easy. Crocodile or kangaroo? Kangaroo or crocodile? So it is a crocodile. Yes, so there are few more uh, words, few more pictures that you have to uh, do it by your own. Now, moving ahead with the concept of these, that, these and those. So, we use these to talk about one thing that is close to us. So, when there is one thing and it is close to us, we are using this, T-H-I-S. These. We use that to talk about one thing that is far from us. So when there is one thing and that is far from us, we are using that. We use these to talk about more than one things that are close to us. So when there are more than one things and that things are close to us, we are using these. T-H-E-S-E, -E, these. Last one, we use those to talk about more than one things that are far away from us. So when the things are far away from us and it is 
more than one at that time we are using those all right so now on this basis we are going to do an exercise look at the pictures circle the correct word to complete the sentence so first of all look at this picture the boy is skipping his books please put this these notebooks on the table so how many books are there one or many many or more than one so what will come this or these second option t h e s e these so you have to circle that word or underline so i am doing underline here so underline the word t h e s e these now second one is those are that is colorful fish so now how many fishes are there more than one and it is far away from you yes so those are colorful fish so we are underlining the word those then is that these is my nose so nose is near to the boy he is pointing out his own nose so these is my nose so answer is this then look at this or that helicopter in the sky so here only one helicopter and that is far away from the girl so these will come or that answer is that so underline the word that look at that helicopter in the sky so i hope children you understand this concept of these that these those all which we have already learned two times now children uh, finish your work do your task well and enjoy your day happy learning